as I'm rolling on the scene and, and seeing how vast the scene uh, was and how large of a footprint that scene had consumed, um, yeah, it got very surreal very fast. The original call that I received was a friend sending me a text asking me if I saw what was going on on TV. That was my first notification. After that, I contacted my law enforcement counterpart to see where he was and what he was doing and what he needed. And it was from that moment uh, that things really started to kick off for me. After that initial conversation, uh, which was brief, um, he, had, he had advised me that he was on scene he had a staging location for our task force, and so I sent out a recorded message to the entire team to meet up at our staging location uh, to start going to work. There was a lot of activity, uh, a lot of response vehicles, more than I've ever seen on any one site. Um, vehicles moving in all directions, um, and just, it, it was a, oh, I don't know. I don't know, it was just very surreal, very surreal. When you, when you live through an event like that, it gives you real perspective. There's always what looks good on paper, what you think is gonna work in your plan, and then reality sets in, you know, and you're, and you're truly tested by an event. That night, because people disperse so rapidly in so many directions, that posed challenges uh, uh, trying to get a handle on what we were really dealing with. If we had had a document like 3000 prior to the event, um, what would that have changed? I don't know, right? It's hard to say, um, but will it help us moving forward? Absolutely.